Most flowering plants can be classified as monocots or dicots. How can you tell which is which? Look for these key differences in the structures of their roots, stems, and leaves. Let's start with monocots. Monocot roots have a fibrous structure, forming a network of thin roots close to the soil's surface. Check out the placement of the vascular tissues. They form a ring that divides the ground tissue of the root into a cortex and a central pith. The xylem carries water and dissolved minerals upward from the root to the stem and leaves, and the phloem carries dissolved sugars and organic compounds down from the leaves to the stem and roots. In monocot and dicot stems, the xylem and phloem are grouped into vascular bundles. The vascular bundles in monocot stems are scattered throughout the ground tissue. In monocot leaves, the vascular bundles form parallel veins. In addition, there are stomata on both the upper and lower surfaces of the leaf. Most monocot leaves also contain bulliform cells, which cause the leaf to open when they absorb water. In dry conditions, they cause the leaf to curl up to prevent water loss. Now let's look at dicots. Dicot roots have a taproot structure, meaning they have one thick root with lateral branches that extends deep into the soil. You'll notice that the xylem is located in the center of the root, with the phloem around it. There's also a layer of cells called cambium between the phloem and xylem that creates new phloem and xylem cells and widens the girth of the root. In dicot stems, the vascular bundles are arranged in a ring. Dicot stems also contain cambium, like the root. Dicot leaves have net-like vein patterns. They tend to have the majority of their stomata on the lower surface of the leaf. This helps the plant to conserve water while having most of the stomata open. Unlike monocot leaves, dicot leaves have two types of mesophyll. Palisade mesophyll has long, thin cells that are densely packed. The cells of spongy mesophyll are loosely arranged, allowing gases like carbon dioxide, oxygen, and water vapor to pass through easily. Explore monocot and dicot plants for yourself in Visible Biology.